far and away our worst air pollution in Texas are dust storms in West Texas. Yeah. They sometimes reach hazardous on the air quality index scale. That's the only pollutant that reaches hazardous. And this is a uh, shot that shows what the uh, webcam is showing at 12.01 p.m. and then 2.31. So this is only two and a half hours later and it just shows the impact of the dust as it blows into the El Paso area. This is overlooking downtown El Paso. And this side is before the dust and that side is during the dust and uh, as you can see the downtown is completely obscured and it's five miles away from this particular camera. So visibility is very low. Uh, particulate graphs show how the particulate rises very quickly. It doesn't stay high for very long. Each bar on here is an hour, so it's high for about three hours. One little pulse going by. This is a closer look at the wind gusts, which also are gusting over 40 miles per hour on this day, so you get strong winds to drive the dust. And this is a sequence and animation of satellite images, and dust plumes are coming out of Mexico and hitting the El Paso area as we go into the evening. This animation here is a true color image from a high resolution satellite sensor called MODIS and it's flickering back and forth between no dust and dust and El Paso is located right here and you can see with the dust you can see dust showing up on one panel. This is early in the day so the dust is not reaching its peak strength but you can see dust all the way back down into Mexico and the winds are blowing towards the northeast from the southwest. This is that same view looking at downtown El Paso and early in the day there was a little bit of smoke but then the dust comes in very quickly and just obscures the view. And the shakiness of the camera is because of those high wind gusts that carries the dust into uh, the El Paso area. And then this is a different view from Ranger Peak looking down on downtown El Paso. Early in the day there was a little bit of smoke in Juarez. The dust hits very quickly, is totally obscures the view, and then we're into the nighttime.